Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about a capability from AWS Certificate Manager or ACM. ACM is a managed service that lets you provision, manage and deploy public and private TLS certificates that you can use to securely encrypt network traffic. Now, ACM allows you to export public certificates and their private keys to terminate TLS traffic on any compute workloads. ACM handles automatic renewals and updates, reducing the risk of certificate-related outages while streamlining your certificate management. ACM's public certificates now support a wide range of deployment scenarios. If you're running a multi-cloud strategy, these certificates work seamlessly with any third-party cloud provider. If you're managing on-premises systems, you can now maintain consistent certificate management across your entire infrastructure. Security teams can deploy these certificates to firewalls, enabling traffic decryption at network boundaries. This adds a layer of security through packet inspection before traffic reaches application load balancers or similar resources. And within AWS itself, you have the flexibility to use these certificates on your EC2 instances, container workloads on Elastic Container Service or Elastic Kubernetes Service, or any other compute service that requires TLS termination. Now that we've seen where you can use these certificates, let me highlight some of the key benefits they bring. You can now oversee all your certificates, both in AWS and external environments, from a single centralized interface. Automatic renewals reduce the risk of unexpected outages and security vulnerabilities from expired certificates. Certificates are issued and renewed within seconds after you complete the required domain validation for authorization. You only pay for exported and renewed certificates with no long-term contracts or bulk purchase requirements, and you can export the same certificate as often as needed at no extra cost, which is ideal for scenarios where you might need to frequently refresh certificates during deployments. Also, you benefit from native AWS integration, including access control through IAM, extensive monitoring capabilities with Amazon CloudWatch, auditing with AWS CloudTrail, and Amazon Event Bridge integration for automated certificate lifecycle management for events such as certificate exports, renewals, and more. Before I jump into a demo, let me walk you through how ACM's public certificate issuance works. First, you'll request your public certificate through ACM. You can use ACM Console, CLI, or API. Before ACM can issue the public certificate, ACM validates ownership of the domains you specify in your request. You can choose to prove your ownership with DNS validation or email validation. After ownership is verified, ACM issues your certificate, which includes a public key, private key, and the complete certificate chain. If you need to use the certificate with non-AWS resources, you can easily export it using your preferred method, whether it is through the console, API, or CLI. Finally, you'll install the exported certificate to enable TLS encryption for your application or service. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. In this demo, I will walk you through how to request and export a public certificate using the ACM console and how you can manage your certificate renewal and revocation in a few clicks. In the ACM console, I will choose request a certificate. For this demo, I am requesting a public certificate, so I select request a public certificate and choose next. I then enter my domain name in the fully qualified domain name field, then select enable export. This will allow me to export this certificate and private key for use with any TLS workflow. Next, I select domain ownership validation method. You can use DNS validation or email validation. 
DNS validation is recommended wherever possible as it enables automatic renewal of ACM issued certificates with no action required by the domain owner. For this demo, I will select DNS validation. For key algorithm, you can select your preferred algorithm based on your security requirements. For this example, I choose RSA 2048. Then choose request to request the public certificate. Now you will notice the certificate is in the pending validation state. Once validation is complete, the certificate status changes to issued. At this point, ACM has issued the complete certificate package, which includes the public key, private key, and certificate chain. For the issued certificate, I can now export it and use it on my custom workloads. On the top right menu, I select Export. Review the certificate details displayed on the export page. I must then assign a passphrase for the private key when exporting it. If I want to later decrypt the private key, I must have this passphrase. This security measure ensures my private key remains protected. I then select Generate PEM Encoding. This will allow me to download and export the file that contains the certificate body, certificate chain, and private key. You can download each component separately. For now, I will choose Download All to download all the three files, the complete certificate package in PEM format, and then select Done. And from here, I can install the exported certificate on my workloads to enable TLS encryption. Now, I'm going to renew this certificate using the ACM console. On the left menu in the ACM console, I will choose List Certificates. This is where I can access all the certificates that I requested using ACM. I then select the certificate that I want to renew, click on the More Actions drop-down menu, and select Renew. ACM will prompt me to confirm the renewal by typing Renew in the field choose renew. ACM will then automatically handle the renewal process including validation. Once renewed, I can then export the new certificate using the same export process we just demonstrated. You can also revoke a certificate when you need to invalidate it before it expires. For that, I will select the certificate that I want to revoke. In the More Actions drop-down menu, select Revoke. ACM will prompt me to confirm the revocation where I select the reason for revocation. For this example, I will select Key Compromise and type Revoke to confirm revocation. After a few seconds, the status changes to Revoke. In this video, we walked through requesting and exporting public certificates using ACM. As we saw, ACM provides a unified platform for you to manage certificate renewal and revocation. For detailed guidance on how to automate the export and distribution of public certificates across a diverse infrastructure, visit the AWS blog in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.